everyone, we are now on the last lesson for the second quarter. Our last lesson is on the linear equations and inequalities in one variable with absolute value. So kung mapapansin nyo, last meeting, ang lesson natin ay yung linear equations and inequalities in one variable. Ngayon, dadagdagan natin ng with absolute value. This is still our module of the week. So, for this week, our objectives is to solve linear equations or inequalities in one variable involving absolute value by graphing and algebraic methods. And solve problems involving equations and inequalities in one variable. But before anything else, take note of this. When we are using lesser than or greater than, we use open hole and parentheses. On the other hand, when we are using the lesser than or equal to and greater than or equal to, we use close hole and open and close bracket. Anyway, this was introduced last meeting, so we are just going to recall this one. So let's proceed to the first lesson, the linear equations in one variable involving absolute value. Let's have example. Ganyan yung mga itsura ng mga equations na involving absolute values. The first example is the absolute value of 2 plus 8a equals 18. First thing you need to do is to identify the expression inside the absolute value. And that is now your 2 plus 8a. And it is equal to 18. So, dalawa yung gagawin nating equation. Yung isa, 2 plus 8a equals 18. At yung isa ay 2 plus 8a equals negative 18. Tignan nyo, naging negative lang yung 18. So, let's proceed with evaluation. So, let's evaluate first this part. 2 plus 8a equals 18. Using your knowledge last lesson, we have 8a equals negative 2 plus 18. So, yung 2 dito naging negative 2 sa kabila kasi tumawid siya sa equal sign. At yung 18, nag-remain siya na positive 18 kasi nandyan lang siya sa right side. Lahat ng my variable sa left side. And then proceed with the operation, we have 8a equals 16. And since dapat a lang yung matira dyan, so we have to divide both sides by 8. And then cancel 8 there. And then we have a equals 2. Yung pangalawa naman, we have 2 plus 8a equals negative 18. 8a equals negative 2 minus 18. 8a now is equal to negative 20 and divide both sides by 8. Therefore, you have a equals negative 2.5. Therefore, the solutions of the absolute value 2 plus 8a equals 18 are a equals 2 and a equals negative 2. Point 0.5 Let's have another example. We have the absolute value of 3x minus 5 minus 4 equals 6. So, this case, dapat ang itira lang natin sa left ay yung may absolute value. So, yung negative 4, ililipat natin dito. So, magiging ganyan na siya. And then simplifying that, we have the absolute value of 3x minus 5 equals 10. Ito na yung gagamitin nating equation. So, we have 3x minus 5 equals 10 ang una nating ilalagay kasi yan yung original. At yung iba ay yung 3x minus 5 equals negative 10. Magiging negative lang yung walang absolute value. Then, let's proceed to evaluation. We have 3x equals 10 plus 5. So, simplifying that, we have 3x equals 10 plus 5 is 15. At dapat, x lang yung matira dyan, so divide both sides by 3. Therefore, x is equal to 5. On the other hand, we have 3x equals negative 10 plus 5. And then, simplifying that, we have... 3x equals negative 5 and divide both sides by 3. So, your answer now is x equals 
negative 1.67. Therefore, the solutions of the absolute value of 3x minus 5 minus 4 equals 6 or x equals 5 and x equals negative 1.67. So, ganun lang yung linear equations involving absolute values. So, let's proceed now to our next lesson. Linear inequalities in one variable involving absolute value. Now, let's have example number one. We have the absolute value of x minus 4 is lesser than t. x minus 4 is lesser than t. Isulat muna natin yung original. Tapos, yung x minus 4 is greater than negative 3. So, naglagay lang tayo ng negative 3 dito. Basta ganito yung format niya. Take note, basta lesser than, ganito. And then, tanggalin natin yung negative 4 dito para x lang yung matira. So, we have x is lesser than 3 plus 4. So, napunta sa kabila. At, x is greater than negative 3 plus 4. Ganyan na siya. And then, x, dito, 7, dito, 1. So, x is lesser than 7, but greater than 1. That's how you read that. But that is not the final answer. We have to put our answer in set notation. So, your set notation is x, lesser than 7, but greater than 1. And using the graph, since we are having the lesser than sign, we have to use open code. Put it in 7 and in 1. So, lahat daw ng numbers na mas greater sa 1 ay 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and pero hanggang 7 lang. So, lahat daw ng numbers na greater than 1, pero mas mababa sa 7. So, sila yung mga 2, 3, 4, 5, at 6. So, yung graph niya, ganyan lang. And using the interval notation, we have to put open and close parenthesis 1, 7. Parenthesis siya kasi open hole yung nandito. From 1 to 7. Now, let's have the next example. What if we have the absolute value of 2x plus 1 is lesser than or equal to 9? Again, let's write the original which is 2x plus 1 is lesser than or equal to 9. And then on the other side, 2x plus 1 is greater than or equal to negative 9. And then we have to simplify. Tanggalin natin yung 1 dyan para yung 2x lang yung matira. So, we have 9 minus 1 at yung kabila, negative 9 minus 1. And simplifying that, we have 2x is lesser than or equal to 8 but greater than or equal to negative 10. But that is not the final answer because we still going to remove 2 there para x lang yung matira. So, divide all the sides to x so you have... 8 divided by 2 is 4 and negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5. Using the set notation, we have x is lesser than or equal to 4 but greater than or equal to negative 5. And then, let's have the graph. Since lesser than or equal to yan, we use close hole in 4 and in negative 5. So, the numbers between that are negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Kasama na yung negative 5 at 4 dyan kasi close hole yung ginamit natin. And using your interval notation, we have the open and close bracket, negative 5, 4. Ibig sabihin yan ay mula sa negative 5 hanggang sa positive 4. Yun yung mga possible values ng x. So, let's have example number 3. Take note, greater than yung ginagamit natin dito. Iba naman yung solution dito. So, since we have the absolute value of x minus 4 plus 1 greater than 3, tanggalin natin yung positive 1 dyan para maging absolute value lang yung nasa left side. 
So, evaluating that, you have this one now. The absolute value of x minus 4 is greater than 2. Ito na yung gagamitin natin. Ito. So, write first the original. We have x minus 4 is greater than 2. And the other part is x minus 4 lesser than negative 2. Tignan nyo, yung positive 2 naging negative 2 lang dito at yung greater than dito naging lesser than lang. Ito yung hindi original, ito yung original. Ito yung basis mo para sa counterpart ng inequality. So, let's have the solution now. Ito muna. X is greater than 2 plus 4 and simplifying that, you have X is greater than 6. At sa kabila naman, X is lesser than negative 2 plus 4. X is lesser than 2. Using the set notation, we have X is lesser than 2 or X greater than 6. At yung graph naman niya, ito na. From 6, lahat ng numbers na greater than 6, sila yung mga 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on and so forth. So, yung direction niya, dyan. While X is lesser than 2, from 2, Lahat ng numbers na mas mababa pa sa 2 ay yung 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 2, and so on and so forth. So, yan yung direction niya. Now, the interval now is open and close parenthesis, negative infinity hanggang 2. Union with 7 to positive infinity. Ito lang yung basis mo. Pag nagsulat ka ng interval, ito lang yung basis mo, yung graph. So, yung 2 dito, yung 7 dito, yung yun yun, ito yung graph nila. Then, positive infinity, kung na-extend siya to the right. Negative infinity, pag na-extend siya to the left. So, yan na yung answer. Let's have another example. If we have the absolute value of x plus 3, greater than or equal to 5, the first thing we need to have is x plus 3 greater than or equal to 5. And the counterpart of that is x plus 3 lesser than or equal to negative 5. Kabalik taran lang niya. Now, let's have the solution. So, x is greater than or equal to 5 minus 3 x is greater than or equal to 2. On the other side, we have x lesser than negative 5 minus 3. And simplifying that, we have x is lesser than or equal to negative 8. Now, using your set notation, we have x is lesser than or equal to negative 8 or x is greater than or equal to 2. The graph, syempre, we use the greater than or equal sign, so we have to use the close hole. We put a close hole above 2 and negative 8. So, yung direction niya pa ganyan. So, lahat ng numbers na greater than or equal to 2 ay yung 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on and so forth. At lahat ng numbers na lesser than or equal to negative 8 ay negative 8, negative 9, negative 10, and so on and so forth. Kasali na dito yung negative 8 at 2 kasi views closed hole. And now the interval is like this. Take note. From negative 8 to the negative infinity, union with positive 2 hanggang positive infinity. That is now our interval notation. Gets you guys? So kung gets you, it's your turn. Open your modules and do the activities inside the new buyer picture. Thank you for watching. God bless you all.